Brash with ProTech. I'm uh, out here with Rocky today, and I was going to keep trying to film a little bit on how he's working. Notice he's carrying a, yeah, about a 10, 10, 15 foot lead, 10 foot. And um, I'm walking him on the fence line, which you see his behavior is totally different over here because he uh, usually gets broken over here. He gets freedom. I usually just give him a free hunt, let him do his thing, and we, we spend a quality bonding time in this time that we're out here just going doing our potty break. So I put the collar on him this morning and uh, let him wear it for a little while. And it's now we've got the Easy Educator, which is this device, a small e, it's e, e technologies, e collar technologies. Um, it's one of the nicer ones that they've got in their lineup. This one does all the, the special little things like has a tone, vibration, um, light. Uh, it has pretty much everything. And then you can actually take this controller and program buttons for which ones you want to do what things and all kinds of little fancy things. So almost so much that it becomes overwhelming to somebody that's never used a collar. Um, but in the same respect, I've used the collar a lot and I've used this one a little bit. So I've, I've got him into it. But I wanted to accent the fact that each one of these collars has a little bit of a different electricity stimulation uh, in how they set up their voltage and their, their uh, currents. And so they are a little different in that respect. Is, is one better than the other? Not necessarily, because if you use it properly, um, you're still going to convey the thought to the dog and get him to understand it. So um, I've got him out here right now. I should have brought a pouch of hot dogs, but I'm not going to. We've been doing this for the last couple days, so we've got the turnoff going on, the, the recall coming back towards me. We've got um, him going to the uh, table, uh, hup. I haven't brought a kennel out. I could do that as well and, and use that as a, a way of conveying the thought. Go on, free hunt. You go party. Go on, go free hunt. Good boy. Good. Good boy, Rocky. Now he senses something's up. See that little yawn? Oh, you missed it, but he yawned. Good boy, go free hunt. Good boy, go free hunt. Go on, get, get, good boy, good. Rocky, good boy, good. And I hit the button right there when I call them, and you see how fast he came back. There's no stress involved, but he's understanding the the, the uh, communication now. And we're at a level four. It's the same level that I set on that other collar, so he can feel it. I could probably drop it to a three, and I think I will. Um, the reason being is that um, if it's easier, all the better. So I'm going to drop it to a three. Yep, let's go. Good boy, go free hunt. You go free hunt. Rocky. Good boy, good. And as soon as he comes back towards me, I let go of that button. So I'm hitting the button right before or right as I say Rocky. And then I'm releasing it right when he starts doing my direction. And we're just trying to keep up the communication as far as um, consistency in what we've taught him. So now we have a uh, coming towards me. We're going to be doing more of a go, going away today on the, the uh, table. And I might even bring a kennel out to accent that as well with him to convey that second uh, turn off. And then we will be doing the down. I may not do the down today, depending. But we'll start the down. And again, trying to accent the point to him or convey the thought that he's the one that's in control of turning off this, this collar. Rocky. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Good. There you go. Last two days, I've just been feeding hot dogs, hot dogs, hot dogs. A lot of a lot of a positive. And you'll notice him yawn. And, and it's because he's nervous and he's a little aware of it. And you're going to go through that. You're going to go through that until he finally balances out. You want to balance him by doing things and being as consistent as you can, boy. Rocky. Good boy. Yay, good boy. That's my boy. Good. There you go. Good boy. Good. Yeah, good boy. Good. Yay. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Yep. You go free hunt. And no, no props out here today. We don't have a table. We don't have any of the things we normally have out here. So we're just going to kind of take a walk around the field. Rocky, good boy, good. So we've got one turn off really well set in where he's coming back to me. He's doing good with that. I'll try to again accent the table and maybe even bring out a, very, a, uh, a, a crate today and get him going into the crate to accent the same thing, that he's turning it off. And I'll keep that up next couple days and trying to get creative in how I teach him that he's turning off this collar. 
And jumping under the table is a good one. You want to do this stuff real short. You don't want to do any long distances because now you got to hit the button and it takes him a long time with that stimulation on it on him until he finally gets to the positive and you release the button. So you don't want to cause that. You want to make it short and sweet, real short distances to your your uh, either launch pad where he's coming back to you or going to the table, whatever it is, maybe five, eight feet max. Okay, just enough to be able to get him to get to that area and then he gets the positive. And it's basically avoidance training. It's it's nothing more than an escape and avoidance training. The dog is learning that when he does the right thing and complies, he's getting positive versus on the other side, he's getting pressure, which is the stem collar being activated. So you get him that and you get him to feel positive about it with a lot of praise, a lot of ball play in between, bring up his attitude about it to a point where he really starts to understand it. And then we're real soon here, we're going to be starting to go into the next phase of this. The next phase is going to be where we actually let him beat it without hitting the button. And we'll start tapping for reminders. At this point, we've been using continuous, and right away I release it so he feels the stimulation real low, and all of a sudden it goes away when he does the right thing. So, Rocky, 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 good boy, good. Now, that time, if you notice, when I said his name the very first time, I hit the, the st constant stimulation button, and he wasn't. Uh, uh, complying to it, so I ended up hitting the next one up, which was just tap, tap, and I tap, tap. Tap, tap, a lot of time is kind of like a, uh, it's a little more uh, abrupt. It's not as subtle as that little small stimulation that we've got him set on. And then I can bring it up. And I also have a boost button on this one. I have a, that little red button right there. We'll boost it by five. And what's cool about this unit, the Easy Educator by eColor Technologies, is I can set this um, boost to wherever I want it. And the other one in eColor is the other one I use, a little bit more straightforward one that I use a lot, is also the same way. I can set that boost to 5, to 10, to 15, whatever I really want to set it to. So right now I have it on a boost of 5. So he was just trying to ignore it that time. He wasn't toughing it out. He was just sniffing and saying, fuck it, I don't have to, excuse my language, I don't have to... Uh, to comply, I would have to pay attention. Distraction of smelling was what was driving him through. And so he would have put up with that until I brought it up to a level he respects. And I'll start teaching him that a little bit as we go along too, because you'll have this transition or this um, growth that the dog will start to throw you. Other little patterns of behavior that are very consistent with how dogs deal with this. And one of those ways is to say, ah, screw it. I'm going to go ahead and take this. I can, and he'll try to tough it out. And when you get to that point, and he's already learned the other... Uh, introductory things that you do with a collar, then you start hitting that boost button and you start kind of reminding him, hey, you've got to whether you like it or not. And he'll comply because he's already had that communication baseboard starting to be established in your fluency with what this collar means to him. Okay, so it's all about how the tools are used and, and how methodical you are in repetition and consistency and training. Rocky, good boy, good, yay, good boy. Good boy, good. That's a boy, good. Yeah, good boy. Yes, good boy. Yeah, good boy, good. Yep, you go free, hon. Good boy, good. So I think we're having a good session right now with this, with me yakking at the screen, him having the freedom of just going doing his own thing and not coming out here and doing training and not doing the ball and, and all this. We've got him in drive. Now you notice he wants to stay with me a little bit more. So I'm going to end this session real quick with you folks. I'm going to follow through and get my concentration on him so I have a real positive session. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.